I'd been alone in the house for almost a week, and restlessness was starting to get the better of me. But today, when I saw my neighbors leave, a spark of mischievous inspiration struck. This was my chance. I could finally pick up some food and enjoy a little freedom from the walls that seemed to be closing in on me. With a plan forming, I quickly slipped into the guise of Chloe, dressing in a bright pink skirt that contrasted with my dark tights and high heels. The black crop top completed the ensemble. It felt thrilling to step into the sunlight, feeling the fabric hug my frame in a way my usual jeans never could. I felt alive, vibrant, almost like I was walking through the world as a completely different person. Driving to the shops was a breeze, and once there, I couldn't help but marvel at the freedom to explore. As Chloe, I could admire the clothes up close, touch them, even try them on if I dared. Online shopping was one thing, but this was a whole new realm. The colors, the fabrics, the styles, they were all so inviting. I lingered among the dresses, imagining myself in them, and finally, I chose a pretty mini dress that I was sure would look stunning. Returning to my car, the weight of my reality set back in. I had to become Cole again, but the thought of simply throwing on my coat and heading home without changing seemed so appealing in its simplicity. I hesitated but eventually decided it was best to revert to my usual self. As I thought I had gotten away with it, a sharp rap on the door jolted me. It was Martha, her eyes narrowed in curiosity, probably wondering why I was home without groceries. What's all this? She asked, spotting the mini dress on my couch. Before I could fabricate an excuse, she chuckled. I dare you to spend the day as Chloe. I was cornered, but the dare sparked something wild within me. Why not? I had already enjoyed a taste of freedom, maybe it was time to embrace it fully. So I slipped back into Chloe's clothes, feeling a mix of trepidation and excitement. Martha's eyes widened, and she laughed, genuinely surprised that I'd taken her up on her challenge. She took it upon herself to make it a proper girl's day out. To my astonishment, I found myself enjoying the shopping, the chatting, and even the little cafe where we stopped for lunch. As Chloe, I was a different version of myself, more daring, more open, and oddly, more at ease. Martha seemed to understand, and our usual neighborly distance was replaced by a shared secret and an unexpected camaraderie. By the end of the day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Martha and I returned, and I realized I had spent the entire day as Chloe without a second thought. Martha gave me a wink. Your secret's safe with me, Chloe. But something had changed. It wasn't about keeping a secret anymore. It was about the freedom to be whoever I wanted to be. With a newfound ally by my side, I knew Chloe wouldn't just be a character for dares. She was a part of me, and thanks to a twist of fate and a nosy neighbor, she now had a life beyond the walls of my house.